Hey everyone, this is Max and Max CTCG. Thanks for joining me in another video. So in this video, we're going over some new shark support uh, that came out. It's going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! organization article, and I'll have the link in the description below. So there's blood in the water with number C32 Shark Drake Leviathan. So this is going to be in Rage of the Abyss. It's going to be a pack in the OCG. It comes out in July, so it will be a while before we even get these. So we have Surfacing Big Jaws, level 4 water fish effect monster, attack 1800, defense 300. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. 1. During your main phase, if a spell card was activated this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra for the rest of this turn except XYZ monsters. 2. If this card is normal special summon, you can add one fish shark monster from your deck to your hand. 3. If this card is used for an XYZ summon of a water monster, it can be treated as a level 3 or 5 monster. But overall, seems like a pretty solid card. Uh, probably pretty easy to extend. I know sharks do have a few good spells uh, that they play in their decks. And also any other generic cards like Pot of Prosperity or other spell cards, Foolish Burial, different things that could potentially work in the deck can kind of help give you that special summon ability. And even if you normal summon it, you could still special summon a monster. So the ideal situation is special summon. But if you can get to a good card that you could search out and special summon out, uh, even as a normal summon, this isn't that bad. So I think this seems like a very solid card. And then the ability to modulate levels works really well with the different exceeds that you want to go into. And I think in a shark deck, being locked into exceed monsters really isn't a big deal. So this seems like a very solid card for the strategy. And we can also see a list of release shark monsters that work with this card as well. So there's quite a few options here uh, and we can see what the other new support gives as well. Everyone, this is Editing Max. If you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up button, give the video a like, leave any comments if you have any discussions you want to start and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of this type of content. Everyone, thanks again for watching the content. I hope you enjoy and we'll get back to it. So next card we have is Drake Shark, Water Fish Effect Monster, level four, 1400 attack, 1050 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is added to your hand, except by drawing, you can special summon it. Two, if this card is used, the exceed sum of a water monster that uses three or more materials, it can be treated as a two material. Three, a shark drake equa z monster that has this card as material gains this effect. Once per turn, you can attach two materials from this card, then target one spell trap on the field attach it to this card as material. All right, so we kind of have our poplar for the deck. This has been a very common theme we've been seeing for new support is they get a card that when added to hand, special summons out. And that works really well with the previous card. You have easy ways to make exceed plays off the big jaws or surfacing jaws being your starter. Uh, so this seems like a very solid card. Um, you can also be used for two materials. So making maybe some of those three material monsters. Uh, a little bit easier to summon and you get a bonus effect on any shark drake exceeds i don't know the shark drakes in general so maybe there's one already out and maybe we get a new one here we'll have to kind of see how that works and see how it affects the other cards but overall it seems like a solid card and a good extender i wish it kind of had an effect on normal as well so that when you draw it it's not completely dead but we'll have to kind of see if there's other ways to kind of utilize this as well and I think the deck has a pretty good amount of extenders, so even if you draw this with an extender, you can still make some plays, probably. So next we have Armored Shark. Water Fish Effect Monster Level 3, 500 Attack, 2000 Defense. This is always treated as an Armored Exceed card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. First effect, you can send one Water Exceed Monster from your extra to the grave, then target one Fist Monster in your grave with a level equal to the sent monster's rank special summon it. Two, during your opponent's turn, if this card is in your graveyard, quick effect, you can target one water XYZ monster you control, equip it to this card as a new quick card, and it gains 500 attack. So the armor cards do work really well with the shark deck, so that's a really cool synergy here that this can also work with those as well. It has a pretty good recovery ability just to send an exceed and then special summon out, and you can make another exceed play. So you probably send a rank 3, get a, a level 3 back, so it seems pretty decent. And then you also get the ability to equip a small attack boost but we'll have to see if the equipping does more than just that because the overall equip use isn't that great all right so next we have number c32 shark drake leviathan water sea serpent xyz effect monster rank 5 3100 attack 2600 defense it's four level five monsters you can also exceed some in this card by discarding one spell and using one rank four shark drake exceed monster you control by transfer materials to this card once per turn quick effect 
You can detach one material from this card, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, and if you do, change its attack and defense to zero. Second effect, this can make a second attack during each battle phase. And third effect, this card attacks a defense piston monster with piercing battle damage. That should work really well with kind of the surfacing jaw and the other kind of shark poplar card that we saw. And then you could easily cheat this card out by discarding a spell and using a shark drake on the field. And it has a solid effect for negating a monster effect uh, your opponent controls, and then you can change the attack and events to zero. Uh, it is controls, so that wouldn't work on like hand effects like Nibiru or other things, so you'd have to see can you play around Nibiru getting this out. You probably could use some of this out on the fourth summon then, uh, which would be solid. And it seems like a tank, you could attack twice, do piercing, change your monster's attack to zero. You can do a lot of damage with this card, so this might be a solid like game ending card. And since it has that easier ability to cheat out, I think this would be a solid uh, inclusion in the shark deck, but I'm not a shark player. So if anyone has any thoughts that differ or anything they want to add, throw that in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think if you're a shark duelist. All right, so next we have Leviture Dragon. Water, Sea Serpent, Exceed, Effect Monster. Rank 3, 2000 attack, 0 defense. Takes 2 level 3 monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. First effect, if this card is special summoned, you can add one Virtue Stream from your deck to your hand. Second effect, you can activate one of these effects. Detach one material from your monster, add one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from a grave to your hand, except uh, Leviture Dragon. The other effect is target two exceed monsters on the field, detach one material from one of them, and attach it to the other's material. So it seems like an okay card. You know, you can on summon uh, search a virtue stream from your deck to hand, and you can also detach search another card. So a lot of ways to get some resources. You can do some interesting stuff by detaching two materials on the field to detach one material from one monster to give it to another. So that could potentially work on other monsters your opponent controls if they have exceed effects, kind of steal them, taking away their abilities, giving it to yours, or swapping ones from one monster to another if you need to use the effect uh, for something. So it seems like a decent card. I feel like it would probably see play. We have to see if Virtue Stream is in this round of support here, or if there's an older card you're searching, because uh, that can make a big difference if this is playable, depending on how good this card is as well. But it seems like a solid card overall without knowing some of those conditions. Next we have Surface Aqua Jet, normal spell card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Plus on one level 4 or lower fish, see some an aqua monster from your hand or grave, and if you do, you can not spell someone from the extra deck while you control it except exceed monsters. If your opponent controls an untap, it's a monster, you can banish this card from your grave, and target one fish, see some an aqua monster control, it gains a thousand attack to the end phase. So this seems okay. If it's a searchable card, it's a searchable Monster Reborn or Hand Extender, but it doesn't seem that amazing uh, overall. And the kind of gaining extra attack might be nice for the 32 Shark Drake for getting extra damage and killing, but uh, this card just seems okay uh, for what I'm seeing. Not bad. If it's searchable, maybe a one of. I'm not too sure on this one. So next card we have Reincarnate Unveil Mail. This is an equip spell. This card is also treated as an armored exceed card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. 1. An exceed monster equipped with this card gains these effects. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, if this card battled this turn, quick effect, you can return one equip card equipped to this card to the hand. Then, immediate act this effect resolves XYZ summon one water monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. Equip it from a graveyard to an exceed monster you control in the M phase of the turn. So it seems like an interesting card. Uh, we did have something with the equip option before, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can technically recur this if it's in the grave, if it was sent there. But that's nice. You have a quick effect that seems okay. You know, maybe you could return that one shark and make an exceed play. I'm not sure if this is maybe more than a one of, as long as it has really good synergy and also it's an armored exceed card, so you could search it that way. So it seems okay. And the nice thing is that it's a quick effect and seems to work with some of the quick effect of conditions on these cards so that seems decent so next we have virtue stream a normal trap card you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn first effect target one fish sea serpent or aqua monster you control and two cards your opponent controls destroy them two you can banish this card from your grave then target one face of monster in the field apply this effect based on its attribute if it's a water monster next time we destroyed by card effect this turn it is not destroyed second effect is not water monster it actually becomes water. So this is a searchable card from the, I think, Virtue monster that we saw, the rank 3 exceed. So this is something that gets search. I think this is pretty much just an Icarus attack, which is cool. And all of this is for cost. That is part of the activation uh, requirement. So 
seems like a decent card you kind of search kind of like a blackout esque kind of situation here and then you also get the ability to stop your card from being destroyed with a grave effect i like when trap cards have these grave effects i think it's an extra bonus uh that's nice to have especially since they're very slow but as a searchable one of that might be good to go into certain combo lines with that rank three i can see this maybe being played if you're playing that card all right and then our last card is xyz poseidon splash it's a normal trap card you can only use either the first or second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn if you control an exceed monster that has an xyz ma as material declare one attribute among monsters on the field destroy all monsters on the field with that attribute that are not equipped with an equip spell second effect you can banish this card from your grave and attach one xyz material from your monster special someone fish sea serpent aqua monster from a grave uh, to either field so this seems like a very solid card. The ability to just nuke your opponent's field if they're playing all of one attribute seems cool. You can even play around it if you have an equip spell and your opponent doesn't if you're both using waters. I think XYZ cards are searchable. Um, I think that's the big thing. If it's not searchable, I don't think it'll be played. But if it's a searchable one of, I could see it being played in the mainer side uh, for going first since it seems pretty solid and a strong card, as well as the ability to and uh, extend and recur some recourses as well once it's in the grave. But you can't use both effects in one turn, so that's one thing to keep in mind. So you'd probably do use the one to interrupt, and then the next turn use it for follow-up. So again, seems like a solid card as long as it's searchable, but I think that's going to be the big thing uh, for this card, uh, and if it's good or not. Hey everyone, this is Editing Max. If you're enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, you can check out the TCG affiliate link in the description below. It supports the channel and cost you nothing and you'll just be doing the same thing you normally do when buying cards from TCG player. If you're new to buying cards from TCG player, check out my website. I have a section on it that helps out uh, newer people kind of explaining some aspects of TCG player. So that way you get the most out of your money and don't kind of fall into any of these kind of weird things that some people do uh, to kind of push up the prices of cards. But if you want to become a patron of the channel, uh, check out my Patreon. It's another way you can help support the channel. We have different perks you can check out like a lot of archetype proxies you could see on the screen uh, every week i put a new one out that everyone on the channel can vote on and then those go to patreon for you can print out you can also join for early access some videos will be one day early access others that are in a longer series could be you know weeks out in advance where you can get the entire thing at once everyone on youtube has to wait week by week uh, for all the videos to come out you can also join for a exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh reaction series where i watch through the Yu-Gi-Oh anime and we can have a discussion in the comments and Kind of watch through it together as well plus other perks coming out in the future everyone thanks again for watching the content all right so yep that's everything for this set uh let me know what you think of the shark supporting here i think it seems solid uh there's definitely some really good cards that would uh boost the kind of shark deck it's always had good extenders and i think it got a solid starter uh, so i think that's really cool and i think uh the shark deck is going to be a lot more playable it's already topped some regionals here and there uh, throughout kind of the years of it getting more support i think this will definitely give it a big boost and i'm excited for you know those duels to kind of get these cards it definitely seems like a deck that when players play it they really like it uh, and with the armored support and then this and the new shark support they've gotten over the years i think it's a really solid way but right, well, let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, do you agree that this seems good is there something i'm missing are there some cool synergies i'm not checking out uh, let me know in the comments i'd love to hear about it and i'll see you guys in the next one